do you ever think that it's very confusing to understand god and his activities well if yes then you are not alone everybody is and many people are confused but today we will see how to get rid of that confusion so in the beginning you will become more confused when you listen to this video but at the end hopefully your confusion will be dispelled because today queen kunti is going to answer this question all right so after a long time uh, we are starting again with the queen kunti prayers and there are not much left in this playlist on queen kunti prayers so once this is over then i will start with the second chapter of the bhagavad gita all right and this is from the shrimad bhagavatam first canto 8th verse 30th uh, sorry first canto 8th chapter 30th verse okay 1.8.30 and the first canto and the chapter is named as prayers by queen kunti and parikshit saved all right so if you have not watched the other videos in this playlist then please go and watch it otherwise you may not understand what i am speaking here all right and yes if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation from me regarding any area of your life then you could go down to the description section to my website and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and today not only you will find you will also understand him all right so here goes the translate uh, the text the sanskrit janma karma cha vishwatman ajasya katur atmanah tiryandrishu yadhasyu tad atyanta vidambanam vidambanam that's the word which is used here all right so the translation is of course it is bewildering and yes she's uh, speaking uh, this about lord krishna as we know from the earlier videos so the translation is of course it is bewildering o soul of the universe that you work though you are inactive confusing <laughs> and that you take birth though you are the vital force and the unborn you yourself descend amongst animals men sages and aquatics verily this is bewildering all right so let's see what's there in the purport the transcendental pastimes of the lord are not only bewildering but also apparently contradictory in other words they are all inconceivable to the limited thinking power of the human being the lord is the all pervading super soul of all existence and yet he appears in the form of a boar amongst the animals in the form of a human being as ram krishna etc now it said that uh, he appears in the form of a boar so we all know who appeared as a boar right lord vishnu had appeared as the varaha avatar to kill the demon hiranyaksh who had plundered the entire gold from the earth and the earth went down to uh the ocean and then lord vishnu took that incarnation and he revived uh the earth from the ocean and uh, varadev appeared from the nostrils of lord brahma so that's again bewildering because generally good things do not come out from anybody's nostrils but because he is uh, lord vishnu himself he is the supreme so he demonstrated that even if i come out from a dirty body part like the nostrils i can still be myself <laughs> and he was looking the most beautiful he was looking as beautiful as lord vishnu looks he was not looking like any ordinary boar of this world who delights in eating uh, filthy stuff yes we all know what boar and pigs they eat but that's what lord vishnu wants to demonstrate that i can even take the form of a boar but i will still remain who i am and i will not get contaminated so that's what is written here that and yet he appears in the form of a boar amongst the animals in the form of a human being as ram and krishna etc that we all know in the form of a rishi like narayan and in the form of an aquatic like a fish yes so 
it's either in the form of a rishi like narayan so we all know that story of nar narayan rishi so nar and narayan these two are uh, great rishis you know and nar was actually arjun we all know that story and then they had a fight with the demon and then the rest is history and we all know that uh, by the from the thighs of uh, narayan rishi uh, urvashi was created because indra had sent uh, some damsels some apsaras to uh, destroy the penance of nar narayan rishi by trying to seduce them but these apsaras headed by rambha they they tried their best to seduce nar nar and narayan these two rishis but they could not seduce and instead what happened from the thigh of lord narayan who was as a, acting as a rishi there as a sage a beautiful damsel appeared and that is why her name was uruvashi because she was born from the uru and then uruvashi started dancing and then when she started dancing all the other damsels of the heavens they fainted because they could not match up to her standard and then later on nar nar narayan rishi said to indra that we give you uruvashi as a Uh, she will also be there in the heaven she will also be one of the damsels there so indra tried try to harm lord Na- lord narayan but at the end he couldn't do anything and in the form of an aquatic like a fish well that's referring to the matsya avatar where lord vishnu appeared as a fish we all know that story and then he took the sages no when the pralay was there we will discuss about it some other time yet it is said that he is unborn and he has nothing to do namam karma nilimpanti yes krishna says that in the gita also in the shruti mantra it is said that the supreme brahman has nothing to do because god has nothing to do of course because he is god because if he has to do something like job or business or something like that if he is obliged then he cannot be god because that means there's something else higher than him which is controlling him and lord vishnu is abhigya swarad that's what the first verse of the shrimad bhagavatam states yes tene brahma hridaya adi kavaye muhyanti atasuraya janma adyasya yataho vandaya adi taratas charthesu bhigya swarad that's the word he is supremely independent now it is in kali yuga you will find many people boasting that oh actually i am independent you know i don't need this person i don't need that person i can be by myself i never needed anybody i don't need anybody and i will never need anybody else they think they are like god but they are so foolish that they think they are independent but imagine suddenly the air stops then they will die within a fraction of second yes imagine the sun doesn't appear they will die imagine the rains don't come they will die so everybody is unanimously dependent on god but the foolish living entity especially in this kali yuga thinks that oh i am independent he is independent she is independent nobody is independent actually there is only one person who is independent who is that yes and that is lord vishnu he is abhigya swarat he is supremely independent no one is equal to or greater than him he has manifold energies and everything is performed by him perfectly by automatic knowledge strength and activity actually there are three energies they say na no? samvit sandini and ladini which you know which are very powerful energies and there's another energy of lord vishnu it's known as satya sankalpa shakti by which he performs all of his actions we will discuss about it some other time all these statements prove without any question that the lord's activities forms and deeds are all inconceivable to our limited thinking power because he is inconceivably powerful everything is possible in him because many times people they cannot believe it that or rather than saying they can't believe they cannot conceive of this idea that how can god take the form of a boar or how can god take the form of a fish i mean that's how in the universe you know that happens but that is why i said in the beginning that when you listen to this video you will end up becoming more confused but there's something at the end 
So all these statements prove without any question that the Lord's activities, forms and deeds are inconceivable. That means to our limited thinking power, that means with our limited intelligence, we cannot understand. Because he is inconceivably powerful, everything is possible in him. So because he is so powerful, he can take the form of a boar and he can still remain God himself. He doesn't become a boar. Okay. Therefore, no one can calculate him exactly. If every action of the Lord is bewildering to the common man. He cannot be understood by the Vedic knowledge. Wow. Should I repeat? He cannot be understood by the Vedic knowledge. This is big. <laughs> but he can easily... He can be easily understood by the pure devotees because they are intimately related with him. I must repeat this statement. He cannot be understood by the Vedic knowledge, but he can be easily understood by the pure devotees because they are intimately related with him. My God. It is not saying that he cannot be understood by science or technology. It is saying he cannot be understood by Vedic knowledge. Yes, that famous song is there. Nahi nahi rakshati. That panini grammar will not save you one day. If you know which song I am saying, I am saying this from, then write it in the comments. <clears throat> he cannot be understood by Vedic knowledge. That means all the knowledge of the Vedas, the Upanishads, the Ramayana, Mahabharata, nothing can help you understand him. Then what can help you understand him? But he can be easily understood by the pure devotees because they are intimately related with him. <clears throat> Who are the pure devotees? Yes, we have the 12 Mahajans. Swambhu, Narada, Shambhu, Kumaro, Kapilo, Manu, Prahlado, Janako, Bhishmo, Balir, Vaya, Sakhi, Vayam. Then we have great personalities like Yudhishthira Maharaj. Then we have in the Shima Bhagavatam, there are so many characters. We have Dhruva Maharaj. We have Parikshit Maharaj. We have Sukhdev Goswami. Then we have Bhishma Pitama, as I already said. Then we have Draupadi. We have Kunti. We are, that's why we are studying about Kunti here. Yes. So they are very intimately related with Lord Krishna or Lord Vishnu or Ram. We have Hanumanji. Hanuman Jayanti is on the corner, I guess. And Ram Nomi was there yesterday. So Sugriv, Hanuman, Jambavan, these are all great souls who have served Lord Ram timelessly without thinking of anything else. So because they are intimately related with him. So when you learn about them, when you know them, only then you can know God. All right. So that's the secret. The devotees, therefore, know that although he appears amongst the animals, he is not an animal, nor a man, or nor a rishi, nor a fish. He is eternally the Supreme Lord in all circumstances. Fantastic conclusion. The devotees, therefore, know that although he appears amongst the animals, he is not an animal. That means he is not the boar. He is not a man. That means he is not. Now, for example, Lord Ram, they say he's Mariada Purushottam, which means he's best of the human beings. But that doesn't mean he is a human being. He's behaving as if he's a human being. All right. Nor a Rishi. He's not Narnara and Rishi. He's not a Rishi. He's behaving like a Rishi. Nor a fish. Yes, he took the avatar, Matsya avatar, but he's not a fish. Even though he's a fish, he's still God himself. He is eternally the Supreme Lord in all circumstances. So he becomes a fish or a monkey or a snake or a boar or a tiger or a lion or a man or a woman. Yes, woman also. He took the form of Mohini Murti. So he could be a man or a woman or anybody, but he is eternally the Supreme Lord in all circumstances. And if you want to know this, then we must read these stories of great personalities who were intimately connected with him. And also in our limited capacity to whatever extent possible we should try to meet uh, great souls who are within our city or center or within our town or village or you know within our state in the weekends uh, we can go and visit a spiritual gathering we can listen to spiritual talks spiritual gurus in youtube all right by that and when we read the scriptures like the rama and the mahabharat then we will understand how these great personalities were and then when we know them then we will know who god is all right and then we will say that maybe we can understand god all right rather than just reading without any connection 
all right so there you go if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation from me then you could go down to my website you will find it in the description section okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and we will uh, continue with the next verse later on okay thank you very much wish you all the best goodbye